Hi, this is Monica, and welcome to Chateau May TV, Episode 2. Today we are focusing on creating seamless, dewy skin that looks great in real life and in photos. At the end of this look, I will also be showing you guys how I do my winged eyeliner. Let's begin! This look features the Hymish Artless Glow Base, which is a makeup essential for me. It acts like a liquid highlighter that goes under your foundation, creating natural, dewy skin without the need for a sparkly highlighter. It is the primer that I use under every makeup look, whether it is an everyday look or a more extravagant event. Follow this primer with your favorite foundation and a damp beauty sponge. I prefer to use less foundation and more concealer, so there isn't any unnecessary product on my face. Today I'm using the Dior Backstage Foundation in 1.5N. Conceal any blemishes or leftover discoloration on the face. I'm using the Top Right Peak Shade from the NYX Conceal Correct Contour Palette. When concealing eye bags, apply concealer underneath the under eye bags to blend upwards towards the eye for a more seamless and airbrushed finish. I'm using a large fluffy brush to blend my concealer into my face. This is my favorite technique for blending concealer at the moment because it melts right into my foundation, making sure my skin looks like skin. I'm going into the middle right brown shade of the NYX Conceal Correct Contour Palette with a fluffy bronzer brush and warming up my face slightly. For bronzer, any dark shade you can find in a contour or eyeshadow palette will work great, especially if you're working on a budget. I'm brushing out my brows with this little brush that came with a hair bleaching kit. Its bristles really help groom the brows upwards, making them nice and neat. The night before I filmed this video, I decided to bleach my brows for this look. I bleach my brows pretty regularly, so this wasn't a big deal for me. But if you don't want to, obviously you don't have to. You can fill in your brows however you'd like, but I'm just applying some NYX Control Freak Eyebrow Gel. For the eyes, we just want to create a little dimension. So I'm using the same brown shade I used for bronzer on my lid and on the lower lash line. I like using a creamy contour for my eyes to enhance the dewiness of the skin. Apply your favorite blush. I'm using the 3CE Take a Layer Multi Pot in Scarlet Red, which is super easy to apply. I'm just using my fingers to apply it to my cheekbones and across my nose bridge. Play around with the blush placement when you're doing your makeup. It can change the appearance of your face a lot. Then I'm blending it all in with a clean fluffy blush brush. Since we want to keep this look nice and dewy, we only want to powder in spots where the skin tends to become oily the fastest. For me, that is under the eyes, around the nose, and under the cheekbones. Finally, apply your favorite lipstick. I recommend a shade that heightens your lips natural color. I'm using a large fluffy lip brush and the 3CE Take a Layer Multi Pot in Scarlet Red. And that's it for skin. This skin tutorial is perfect for any occasion. I know there are a lot of tutorials for winged eyeliner, especially for hooded eyes, but this is how I do mine. I've been winging my eyeliner since I was 14, so I would like to preface by saying that intricate details like this takes a lot of practice and patience. Today I'm using the Misha Ultra Powerproof Liquid Eyeliner in black. I start by drawing the bottom line of the wing using my upper lash line as a guide for its direction. It's important to wing the eyeliner up instead of out so it lifts the eye. From there, I draw a line from the wing to my inner corner using my upper lash line as a guide.
For an extra edge, I'm extending my eyeliner past my inner corner and towards my nose, using the curve of my upper lash line as a guide. Repeat this carefully on the other side. And we're done. I'm not using any mascara or even curling my eyelashes for this look, letting the eyeliner speak for itself. Thank you guys so much for watching, and remember to subscribe and turn on our notifications.